20-year-old blue-eyed Emma was working in a boring cafe during one of her usual Mondays, when suddenly, her eyes lit up as she saw her favorite photographer walk in with a star model. Nervous and excited, she rushed to speak to him, but just then… Are you freaking out of your mind? You spoiled my $500 shoes! What a weirdo! I am so sorry! Please let me help you! Needless to say, the manager fired her. Emma was in tears because that job was her only way to save money for her much-needed modeling portfolio. She packed her bags and headed to the countryside, to her grandma, her only family. Little did she know, this trip would change her life completely. She was determined to make her dream come true, and Destiny decided to bring her one step closer to her dream. One day, as she was clicking some pictures by the road, a sleek car pulled up, and that famous photographer she saw a few days back stepped out. No way! That's the famous photographer, Josh. She followed him to his studio like a puppy and finally approached him to click her photographs. But to her utter disbelief, he insulted her and called her a fashion disaster. Emma was completely shaken when a charming young guy, Nathan, Josh's assistant, walked up to her. Your blue eyes are not made for tears. I would love to click your pictures, if you'd like that. Emma couldn't resist the charm of Nathan, and he clicked her pictures. Soon, Emma felt jitters in her stomach, like a teenager in love when they went out for their first coffee date. That night, Emma gathered courage and sent the portfolio pictures to different agencies. She couldn't stop thinking about Nathan. Hey, I just called to say I've sent some photos out, and uh… Miss me? Yes. Um, no. What? Hi. Wanna watch a movie? Things were really romantic as their hands touched. Emma looked at Nathan who leaned in and they kissed. It was just the beginning of their love story. One day, Nathan took a big step and invited Emma to meet his family. But that's when things started going upside down. Let me get you some wine. What? I'm coming home right now. Emma's hands were trembling and she stormed out of the restaurant in distress without saying a word to Nathan or his family. Emma! Emma? What happened? How did you faint? Emma panicked, seeing her only grandma in a sickbed. Just then, someone tapped on her shoulder. She turned to see a handsome, green-eyed hunk, Eric Roberts. Your grandmother's all right. She fainted due to sunstroke. I got my private doctor to check her. Thank you so much for helping her. It means so much to me. Emma couldn't help but feel an intense pull towards him. She couldn't stop looking into his eyes. When suddenly, Nathan angrily barged in. So are you having an affair? Who the hell is he? Tell me the truth now! Nathan, please calm down. Sorry, I didn't tell you when I got the call. My grandma is... You insulted me in front of my family, Emma. All for this nasty affair? Hey, hey, calm down. You should at least see Emma's sick grandmother before yelling at her. What's the point of love without any trust? Don't worry about me. I'm nothing but a stranger to her. Later that night, Emma kinda understood that leaving the restaurant without a word was wrong, and she instantly felt a strong urge to see Nathan and apologize. She walked towards his house with a zestful smile on her face, but little did she know that her dreams were about to be shattered. Nathan was kissing another girl! What the hell?! Emma? No, it's not how it looks! Please, Emma, it's not my fault. I knew her before meeting you. I thought, we're on a break now, so when she came back, I... Not a word. You have broken my trust. I don't want to see your face ever again. Emma's world came <laughs> crashing down as she drove back home. How could the love of her life betray her trust? As she sadly stood watching the glittering lights by the countryside, suddenly her phone rang. Her hands were trembling with shock as she heard the biggest news ever. The Cypress modeling agency wanted to meet her as they liked her pictures. The next day, as Emma walked into the agency with her head held high and higher stilettos, she realized it was the beginning of her brand new life, and Nathan was history. And as the door opened, Emma couldn't believe her eyes when she saw Eric Roberts sitting in. Hi, Eric. What a pleasant surprise. So you work here? I happen to own this company with my father, Mr. Roberts. Congratulations on your new contract with us, Emma. Wow, no way. This is unbelievable. I'm so happy. Soon she started. Eric closely supervised her work as a model. Within a week, she signed a modeling gig for the popular Glaze magazine cover. Congrats on your first cover girl shoot. Your boyfriend and granny must be really proud. We broke up. He cheated on me. Oh, um, sorry, but I know, 
I mean, I can imagine what you're going through. My ex cheated on me recently. That's why I moved here to the countryside. Looks like we have something in common. Maybe more, if we look closer. Come on now, let me drop you home. It's getting late. Emma was mesmerized by his kindness and chivalry. He seemed straight out of some movie with a picture-perfect life. <laughs> Emma, I was just wondering if you would like to come with me for a wildfire caravan ride. Yeah, of course. Emma was really excited at the date. Things seemed so uncomplicated with him. That night by the bonfire, Eric gave her a surprise gift. It's an unpublished copy. Tomorrow, you will be a sensation with this cover. Oh my god! Thank you, Eric. No, you deserve it. Never forget your worth. Not when you're here to remind me. You know, I was supposed to leave for Paris next week, but now I have a reason to stay here. Emma pulled him closer to kiss again. She was on cloud nine, but her excitement was soon crushed when she got a call from the hospital. What accident? Is Nathan okay? I, I'll be right there. Upon hearing Nathan's name, Eric was frozen for a moment. Emma told him she needed to see Nathan and left. After 24 hours, Nathan regained consciousness and Emma was finally relieved. Please, Emma. I cannot live without you. Just give me another chance. Let me fix this. Please, I love you. At that moment, she was so weak that she decided to forgive him. She even hugged him and let him kiss her. Eric, who just visited the hospital, saw this and got heartbroken. Eric? Eric, wait a minute, please. He walked away without talking. Emma had to speak to him, so she rushed to Eric's house, but he had already left for Paris. She hurriedly rushed to the airport to see him one last time. Even though she rushed towards the gate as fast as she could, she didn't make it. She was in tears when suddenly she looked up and saw Eric standing in front of her. Why? Why didn't you tell me you were leaving? <laughs> because I didn't want to make you choose. I don't want to make it worse for you. Destiny will bring us back together someday. Until then, I want you to always remember your worth. Emma couldn't believe her true love was walking away from her life. But little did she know, she would bump into Eric again after so many years. But this time, life had a different game to play. To find out, watch The Billionaire's Accidental Bride on Pocket FM. Download Pocket FM by clicking this button, or click the link in the description, or simply search Pocket FM on the Play Store or App Store.